Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. You've already seen the Silver and Deming drill bit set that I bought. And you saw one of these in the video. Over the years, before I bought this set, I managed to collect seven Silver and Deming style drill bits. This is a fairly new one. Bought it to use with the lathe. I just needed to drill a three-quarter inch hole and this one was there. But these are genuine antiques. And you can tell from the use and abuse that they've had that they're rather old. And I've always just kind of kept them stuck in a drawer. I think they deserve to be put someplace where you can see them. Eh, maybe not show pieces, but some place where they're going to be kept in good condition. So tonight I'm going to build a rack to put my silver and deming drill bits in. Not the new ones, those are in a really nice box, I'm just going to leave them like that. I'm going to build a rack so that I can mount these over the top of the silver drill press and have them available. You can follow along. I might do it a little bit fast, but I'm sure you can keep up. The first thing I need to do is set up the board. So I have to kind of judge how long I want to cut it, then set it up and cut it off. three rows. That would give me room for 21 bits. I don't have 21 bits, but there's always hope for the future. So let's make this eight inches long. Now I could get all prissy and fussy and say I have to be exactly right. Or I can say Right there, where is it? Stanley Fry Square will do a nice job of marking the lines up.
the shanks are a half inch. That means with an auger bit, be a number eight bit. And I'm gonna use a number nine just to give myself a little bit of room to allow it to move. Make sure I've got this set vertically. So I'm gonna get a shot at making a straight line cut. Now, somebody with a lot more tools than me probably would make some kind of a device to set the depth. Or they'd use a drill press or they use a power tool. But you know, I don't do that. So I'm going to use the old fashioned way of just sticking a piece of tape on there when the tape gets down so it's hitting. That's deep enough. pretty beat up box. It's been varnished and carried around and banged around. It's a carpenter set. It's a handy set of augers and a Irwin bore case. Now I don't know what came originally with the set. I went from quarter inch on up to one inch because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. not a full set, but it's a bore case full. That's enough to do every job that the average carpenter would use. Can't tell you who made the brace. Not Mark. I like it because it's got a good long throw. It's about six inches, so it's 12 inches overall. I like this brace because it has a short and old throw on it. For a half inch size bit, as long as I'm not cutting a whole lot of them, it lets me spin the, the handle faster. Puts a hole through just as quick. But it's a bit more work. Using the longer throw brace, because I had to drill 21 holes, I just went with easy. And that's why even though this one has a chuck that will accept a bit, one inch in diameter, I don't use it. The reason I don't use them with even is even with the uh, drill bit set for the least amount of diameter on the gear, it's still a lot more torque than what this drill wants to do. You can see I popped it right out of the spring. It's just more than it can handle. These are more 
buffer. It's dull, so it might not cut too well, but I'm sure it'll cut. Fresh drills just aren't designed to drill one inch holes. You can do it, it's a lot of work. Oh, well, we have the holes drilled and the block ready to go together. So we'll take up the rest of the project tomorrow morning.